Hello guys, in this video I am going to discuss solution of a simple 2D trust problem using ANSYS APDL. Brief description of the problem is given in this figure which you are seeing on the screen. It is a triangular shaped truss with three members. The base is having a dimension of 8 meter. The other two sides of the triangular truss are having dimension of 3 meter each. The force is being applied on the upper corner of the triangle with 10 kN force on the negative x direction and 5 kN force on the negative y direction. There are two boundary conditions that we have to apply. The left lower corner of the triangle is constrained fully whereas the other corner of the triangle is constrained only in the y direction and it is free to move in the x direction. Now we will go to the ANSYS APDL interface. In the ANSYS APDL interface I am going to first select my preferences. I will go for structure, ok, preprocessor, element type, add delete, add, so this is a link type of element, ok, close real constants add delete add ok I am going to define real constant which is 4 cm uh, square which is 0 0.0004 ok close so I am going to change the units when I go here to be units as SI units so I can move ahead go for defining the material material models structure linear elastic isotropic I'm going to take the properties of the steel here 210 e9 and ratio is 0.30 okay exit go for defining my nodes nodes inactive cs the lower left corner i take it to be 000, zero, zero so just apply the second node I take it to be x4 and y5 apply the last node which I am going to take is 0 8 8 0 so this is three nodes of my triangle. Now I am going to define the elements with the help of this. First I will check the element attributes whether they are properly defined. Element type number is okay, material number is okay, real constant number is okay. Okay, so auto numbered two nodes. I'll select this and this as my first element nodes. Apply this and this as my second element nodes and this and this as my last element nodes. Okay. Now I will check from here whether my elements have been properly defined. So this seems to be okay. Now I am going to apply the boundary conditions. Loads, define loads, apply structure, displacement, on nodes. I will select this node and say or DOF. Okay. Second time, I am going to de define degree of freedom for this node. Say OK and constrain only Y direction because it is a ruler symbol. See, I will see that no other constraint is there. So, this is okay. So, you can see with the these di directional arrows the constraints that have been applied. Now, this is now time to define the forces. So force on nodes, 
select this node and say apply first is fx which is minus 10,000 because it was 10k so apply and second time I am going to say fy so this is minus 5,000 say ok now I am all set with my pre-processing I am going to go for the solution part say solve current ls ok this message should appear if everything is ok solution is done now I am going for post processing my results I will go for plot results deform shape deformed and undeformed shape ok so this is showing the undeformed triangular elements and this is defined this is showing the deformed shape contour plot nodal solution dr solution and displacement vector sum ok so this is the displacement where the maximum displacement areas are sh being shown and the lowest uh, displacement areas are also being shown this is natural because the degrees of freedom are constrained on this side wherever the degrees of constraint uh, degree of freedom are unconstrained here and there is only one degrees of freedom which is constrained I can to see the results in a better way I will go for plot control style size and shape put on here and say four okay and this is giving me a description graphical description in a better way now I'll go for listing my results say nodal solution df solution displacement vector sum I can see the actual x and y displacement happening at different nodes so node number two is having displacement in uh, x and y node number three is having displacement only in x that do in the negative direction and this makes sense keeping in view the loading conditions and all that now element solution go for stress worn my stress okay so these are my different stress values in different elements okay and uh, this is how I can interpret my results then I will go for reaction solution all items so these are my direction values the reaction at node number one is having two components 10,000 and 88,500 uh, the, the, the reaction at node number 3 is only one that uh, that is in the y direction that is minus 30 750 so this sum total comes out to be 5000 which is equal to the force applied and this also is equal to the force applied so this makes sense and uh, that completes this session of ANSYS APTU thank you